Hey there, sign of Aquarius. This is Kim here to do your reading for you for your next 48 hours. Hope you're doing really good. Thanks for liking and sharing if you share and subscribing. I appreciate that. I appreciate all the support. So let's get into your reading. You can connect with me as I imagine divine white light to connect to source energy, your spirit guides, your angels, and then um, back through the chakras, down through the earth, and back up. So grounding ourselves. Okay, it says difficult times. Be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold. We will get cards on this because this is, it says twists and turns. Carefully made plans could be thrown out the window as major changes or interruptions surround you. Make sure you get lots of rest to cope with the upheaval. What's it talking about? All right. So, yeah. We'll just some more cards to find out. What is it talking about? For Aquarius, Dream Totems. So give us more information. For the greater good. Aquarius, we have success and amazement. Success, you are worthy of this success. Allow feelings of accomplishment to fill you with contentment and self-satisfaction in your achievement amazement you have worked hard to get everything just the way it is right now trust and enjoy this moment that everything is as it should be so that's nice at least that's nice let's get um let's get a modern goddess card i'm feeling that instead of the animal oracle modern goddess oracle for aquarius please Messages for Aquarius right away. Oh, you're not shining. See, usually um, the story is, it's a Japanese, pretty much like a sun god. It's Ama Turasu, <laughs> Ama Turasu, I think. <laughs> Amaterasu. Anyway, the what happens is sh her shine, she decided that she wanted to withdraw from everything. So uh, the other deities were like, we missed that shine. Um, and so they gave her some mirrors so that if you were going to be away, then at least, at least shine down and shine your light every now and then. Feeling like it's also about communication here with you for something. Communication, maybe communication trying to come in. All right. Amaterasu. 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 Um, let's get another. Let's get another card. Another oracle card. I don't. I think I'm going to do that one, but I'm going to do the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle. We'll get a few of these. Not liking that where it is. That's better. Yeah. That's better. For Aquarius, next 48 hours for Aquarius in the highest timeline. For Aquarius, highest timeline. Okay, this is one of those big cards. When the fear card comes out, I have to ask if you're paying attention to why you're making the decisions that you are, whether it's to act a certain way, to feel a certain way. Um, yeah, you may be taking things like way too seriously here. Something you may be taking too seriously. Time to lighten up. A visionary. A visionary. Time to lighten up, 38. You may be taking life too seriously. So, meaning don't lose your humor, especially during stressful times. Humor really helps us. So, here's that fear card, though. 37, fear. Your fears are keeping you from moving forward into the life you desire. And that's how you can tell us, did I make this decision out of a fear issue? If it is, then choose it to making decisions based on, on love. Out of only love, what would love do? 
uh, 40, a visionary. You are learning to synthesize all of your creative ideas into action. Two, a metamorphosis. Like the caterpillar that emerges from the cocoon, you are about to get your wings. Earth angels. <laughs> 20, spiritual teacher. 28, boundaries. You are learning the gentle art of setting boundaries and saying no. And your core values, 15 or 6, harmony. Follow your heart and make your values a priority. Make your values a priority. I like that. I like that. I like that. No, that looks better up there. All right. Let's go into the tarot and let's get some messages for Aquarius. We'll do, well, we will intend on drawing a Celtic cross, but I'm not sure if it will lead us to that or not. We'll see. Or Aquarius, what's their situation? Something's taking a while. That's a situation for something. <laughs> Seven of Swords, feeling like somebody is lying to you or or somebody lied, cheated, or stolen something around you. Somebody snuck around or, I don't know, it was just really sneaky. Sneaking off with things. Somebody being sneaky. And this could be self-deception too because, you know, you could be the one trying to think like you have to sneak around or something. Okay, the challenge... Like, maybe it's like walking on eggshells, afraid to mess up or something. Sorry about that truck, stinking loud truck. What is the challenge? What is the challenge to the Seven of Swords? Which is a challenge, the number seven anyway. It's a challenge. It's Libra. It's finding justice. Woo, okay. The challenge is the Seven of Cups. Um, I can't see straight, right? This um, giraffe cannot see right. Um, everything's cloudy. Everything's hazy. I don't even know if this giraffe can see the options that are right in front of them. Even though they have many options available, there's something that is influencing um, the energy around you. It's It's coming across either as like being intoxicated or I don't know... Um, like on on a substance that causes that um cloudy head feeling and so therefore it's not really dealing with what's at at hand the reality so it's kind of like an avoiding reality and calling it medicine it won't work so seven of cups as the challenge means you need to see something with your um clear head also, it could be about, about needing to see your other options. Five of Pentacles in the reverse is great because that's getting away or out of this Five of Pentacle energy, which is um, it's temporary hardships of some sort, right? Or some great worry for ourselves um, on the material level. So it could be like your health, somebody else's health in the family. It could be about the money, the house, anything like that. Page of Wands energy in the past is a new passionate beginning the fox very shrewd um resourceful it looks like the magic wand there it's usually my good news card so you may have gotten news that came in there in the past um that i don't know it moved you forward in a passionate way although something's making you fearful and not shining your light as much as you could be what is that energy the now energy what is the now energy about Scorpio season, which it is Scorpio season now until November um, 21st. So the fool and the death card coming out as your now opportunity to have a brand new beginning and completely transform something. So something is completely transforming or somebody is completely transforming and death or closure to something that was a main problem 
is going to be freed up so that you can have your new beginning. So that you, this full energy is brand new for you with the beginner's mind. It's amazing success here, transformation and change. The um, So Scorpio energy all over it. <laughs> seven of Cups, the Seven of Swords, Libra, but Death, Scorpio. Near future energy. Near future energy. The Hermit. And I like this Hermit. It's really cute because he's finding the keys. He's finding the answers, the solution to lightening his load. To not to not overworking, overexerting yourself, and then yeah, getting exhausted, so you burn out. So it's avoiding that at all costs with the hermit. Might be dealing with a Virgo energy. Um, this is doing your research and spending time kind of by yourself here, um, researching and finding out what it is that you actually want, value, or believe in. Maybe visualizing what you want next, what you want to achieve, how your success looks like to you, or, whoa, what that looks like to you. Oh, goodness. Okay, Empress Energy on the bottom. Ten of Wands, Seven of Wands, Six of Cups. Fixing family issues, um, definitely standing up for what you want with the Seven of Wands and asserting yourself. Um, not letting somebody make, make you put too much of a load on. So watch out with the way that you're handling the work that you're taking on or the heavy emotions that you may be taking on while family issues or soulmate issues work themselves out. Seven, seven, seven. Yeah, seven, seven, seven. So that's a big message to heart opening up, heart opening up family situation something's really good so you may be kind of defensive over something maybe and and maybe it is that's why maybe the time to lighten up's there okay so what's in the situation in the environment i love the unicorn though that's like a magical time so over carrying the burden for um for this queen of wands energy or whatever this is uh this is about Kind of like somebody that's trying to be too cautious. Um, could be a Leo or Aries, but somebody is erring on the side of caution here um, by being in the reverse. They can't take risk or not wanting to take a big or, yeah, not wanting to take a big, big risk. So maybe you need to assert yourself, be a little bit more bold or daring. And the hopes or fears here, Aquarius, is possibly an emperor energy or somebody that was is developing a strategy or a plan um, to get you out of this feeling of not being listened to. So time to change things up. That is the hope here to develop a good, nice strategy and have complete like control over yourself and, and others to over an empire. Okay, outcome energy for Aquarius. Or that could be a father figure to represent in here. It could be. It could be a, a figure, possibly father figure, that comes in and out of your life that made a really careless decision or stupid decision, <laughs> poor decision, because it's in the reverse. Or this is warning you not to make a careless decision because you may have regrets later. Five of Cups with the Five of Pentacles. Um, yeah, big change. Significant change regarding somebody from the past. Might be a Sagittarius energy. What else? Um, secrets revealed. Secrets revealed. Needing to trust yourself. Queen of Pentacle energy. Possibly Capricorn. Really kind of like um, using your resources to your benefit here um page of swords or spirit of swords sorry in the reverse needing to take control of a situation because or needing to do something because the power deal here or some deal with power is not 
shared fairly or justly here? I don't know. Something about discipline, needing to have discipline, a little bit more discipline. Yeah. Okay. So four of cups is try to um, get into a flow state because it's, it's acting like you may be over a situation. So just kind of feeling like you want to retreat and go inside yourself, which is kind of what that is. Instead of shining your light, you know, sitting by yourself and stuff. So this, I would feel like if um, you turn this around to something good, you could meditate and then figure out how to shine your light. Don't give up. High Priestess Energy. Yeah, trust your intuition now and trust the gifts that are coming through to you at this moment. And let me get some fairy dust for you and then I'm going to wrap up your reading or close it out for you. Music. Yeah, to uh, lift your vibrations and to help you manifest. Fairies dance in the green hollow where the music plays. Joy will follow. And peace. Friends and family and those who care. Peace is yours today to share. Thank you so much, Aquarius. Sending you light and love. Bye.